Andreas Schulz created a special lighting concept for this restaurant near Bonn. Here he stages light during the day as well as in the evening. From the start, the light designer wanted to achieve harmony between the lighting and the furniture. The idea was to have matte surfaces that can be lit from above with little reflection. Surfaces that don't reflect in the windows. So that you can look out without seeing reflections. That's the idea behind it. Hermann Nolden runs the Drachenfels restaurant. He says the flexible light installation is good for business. I benefit from this in the evening. Drachenfels restaurant isn't only open during the day, but also hosts events in the evening. When it's dark, you need the light. The ceiling spotlights are adjustable. They can focus their light on the middle of the table and create the right mood, no matter how the furniture is arranged. The real eye catchers are the multicolored LED squares. The red color stands for dragon blood, the restaurant's symbolic color here at Drachenfels, or Dragon's Rock. For company events, customers can choose colors to match their corporate image. The overall design won Andreas Schulz the German Lighting Design Award in the hotel and restaurant category. But that's not the only award-winning project of Schulz's company in Bonn. Here they also designed the lights for a subway station in Leipzig. The platforms were supposed to look as bright as day using just artificial light. Andreas Schulz won a third lighting design award for the Museum of Art in Ahrenshoop by the Baltic Coast. We asked ourselves how we could illuminate this house without using too much artificial light. So the question was how to use daylight efficiently and capture its dynamic to create lively exhibition spaces. This was a challenge because we had to pay attention to monument conservation rules and protecting the art pieces from the harm daylight can cause. So we had to limit the amount of light, and that's what we did with this system. Schulz has had offices in Berlin and Bonn since 1991. Many of his 26 employees are trained light designers. Here you learn very basic things, such as lux levels and light balance. You also work with daylight and its effects on office workplaces, like this one. With his unconventional ideas, Andreas Schulz builds bridges between light and design. And here for Deutsche Telekom in the truest sense of the word. We wanted this bridge to convey the idea that this telecommunications company connects people. So we tried to implement an image that expresses this idea. The media screen is as wide and as flat as the bridge to get that message across. There's one message that Andreas Schulz conveys clearly with his work. For him, light design is more than just illumination.